For someone absent in the past 30 years here, in, live in China, uh, basically you, you don't get it. You know? I know this area, so now this, 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 I can connect to myself. And uh, her Lisa had a studio in this Asian Wong next to me. Okay. So we were quite close. And uh, those guys all bad, except that, you know, and uh, one guy, he was uh, this guy, he committed suicide in 1953. Uh, he was the uh, uh, vice chairman of the country. So, and uh, Mao just get rid of him, he couldn't stand it, and he, so he committed suicide. That's a long time ago. His wife is still surviving, they alive. So the whole Chao Road used to be a very narrow, small, very small street. In the old days, you know, Shanghai city is very small, you know, and the rear road, the, the ring road, the Zhongshan Road or, yes. or Kaishuan Road. So that's the boundary of the Shanghai uh, uh, city. And uh, Xu Jiahui and area, they regarding the already countryside, the suburb of the Shanghai. Now it's the same thing. Mm. Uh, so I, I lived basically on the edge of the Shanghai city, west side, between the uh, Xi Jiao Gongyuan. So uh, that's why, since the family is uh, um, uh, uh, nearby, I live, we lived there, I grew up in my teenage years. Uh, until I left Shanghai in 19, 1979. I left here for Beijing, Central Academy of Fine Art. In my book, I uh, particularly there's a front section, there's a one page, I, 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 I write a one sentence that said, all the artwork is before this point, I never receive a one day formal education. Cultural revolution started, all the schools shut down, you okay. know, Red Guards, you know, it was a turbulent and a violent time. So they wanted people to paint uh, Mao's portrait. They tried to glorify Mao as the sun will shine to any, every corner, so which is pretty silly. Oh, that's how I start, you know. I was nine years old, but I, I can draw, you know, short. Soon, you know, the village, you know, find my talent, you know, and every uh, unit of the building. So I would try to paint a door to door almost. Most of there, there's only one style, you know, communist propaganda style, you know, and uh, every uh, social realism and soldiers and works and peasants. It's, uh, it's basically they, they imitated from uh, the copy from the Soviet style. Okay. Mm -hmm. Regarding you know, painting a mouth portrait, it's a, it's a very glorified, uh, important uh, political task. Of course, you know, I can't, you can do it. My mother and the father's family, they were regarding politically as the enemy, you know, with um, the communists. Sure. They were prosecuted. And so, but uh, somehow, you know, that this little guy wins some, uh, oh, just shed some light, you know, on this uh, very bleak, you know, kind of uh, uh, family background. My grandfather already in jail, so they relocated them in the village. So everything just like that. 
I tell you, you know, this painting, bunch of guys from the northwest of China, Yan'an area, something, basically. That was the, before the long march. The, the central Red Army force arrived after the runaway march, you know, and the long march, famous. It is famous today, they think it's great. But it was a runaway because they were they were they were chasing by the nationalists. Yeah, they managed yeah. to survive. Yeah, they managed to survive around there. And uh, his wife and uh, survivor Liu Zidane's uh, wife or um, or brother or some somebody to authorize a biography, a type of um, novel talking about called Liu Zidane. It provoked a mouth nerve. She didn't mean the father. It was the vice premier. Because he's from the region, he was the gang, you know, basically. He was 19 years old at that time. And uh, he said, this is not too bad, this book, you know, it's a good book. And uh, Mao's, you know, um, uh, henchman, you know, and uh, took that book, you know, to show Mao. Mao got a theories. And uh, he prosecuted Xi Jinping's father, Xi Jinping, put him in jail or something. And, uh, and the famous line was, uh, Use the novel to against against the communist. This is a creative, a very creative way. First the creation or something. Anyway, I know that always a day of history, their story never been told. You know, you go to the, you 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 go open the the, the communist history book. Never mentioned. You know, the, because several people with the prosecutor and dead. You know and. Uh, a famous case was um, with Gao Gang. He Mao tried to use him, you know, to get rid of a few other people. And, uh, and he was already a um, vice chairman of the country already. Just um, there were five vice chairmen. He was one of them. He made he believed Mao tried to put him on um, the number two guy. So, but uh, the, and then he tried to get rid of Liu Shaoqi, and uh, but uh, didn't know Liu Shaoqi has also political allies, you know, yes. don't lie. Yes. Didn't like him, and they try to put him down. So Mao look at the game. It's it's difficult to to let him to fight with all those guys. Mao instead of just at the last minute try to get rid of him. Mao just said, "Oh, I didn't say that. And that's the, his his idea." So he was a feel betrayed or whatever. So he he committed suicide. He's a simple minded guy, you know, from, from that area. He yes. think of, he believed Mao and probably with his ally or something. So he, he killed himself. So his case is still not turned yet. Many, they uh, overturned many uh, prosecutions, you know, um, in the 50s, 60s. Maybe the Cultural Revolution, uh, uh, reminiscence, you know, it's kind of uh, the various um, way, um, still inside me. I always think in, in China, you know, Used to be uh, um, politically oriented, everything around the politics. You know, I hate it. You know, and the propaganda. But uh, somehow, you know, I went to West. And now, a lot of things. Uh, I feel something. You know, like a deja vu. You know, and uh, you know, all of a sudden in the West, art uh, or cultural field. Uh, you know, the multicultural or uh, um, injustice. You know, and. Um, Political correctness, you know, it's all the bullshitting, you know. Uh, yeah, it is okay, but it's not mainstream, you know. Everybody can think, in, you know, free in the West. But a lot of the time, people always try to create that mainstream. Early 1980, you know, in the in the U.S., uh, in New York, particularly, you know, crime rates very high, and the robberies, you know, I I was the one around the subway, you know, people just thinking you're crazy, you know, you're looking for, <laughs> looking for trouble, <laughs> trouble, yeah. But uh, you know, very inspiring. So I actually the subway series win me a, a, a national endowment for the arts a grant, 1985. Well, I can claim I'm probably the first one after. They trying to open the uh, door to the West. So I, my subway painting was appreciated by Leo Castelli, you know, mm -hmm. biggest name, you know, on the art world them in New York. Definitely. Yeah, and uh, Andy Warhol and, uh, and the Rothenbergs all on his wings. Mm -hmm. And um, so, you know, with, with, 
I actually have quite extraordinary, you know, results, you know, um, being painting um, very steadily portray the New York subway. They call me the subway guy, you know, and also, you know, I was, uh, I know several, you know, crazy guy, you know, uh, Keith Herring, you know, the, the, yes. the, the regarding that sure. guy died uh, AIDS, you know, he, he was doing all the graffiti uh, photographs, and, uh, and uh, graffiti is in the subway too, you know, so I met him, <laughs> and, uh, well, I met several, you know, important famous people. I had my first exhibit in 1987 in New York, just yes. one, one month before the Black Monday you know, stock market crash. Yes. Um, I sold my first painting for $10,000, you know, in 1987. <laughs> Not bad, you know, tell you sure. those days, you know. This one just one year after I arrived in the West. Yeah. You know, and uh, that's nice. I think that sometimes makes me think, you know, uh, animal monks uh, screaming, you know, and uh, ah, I got my own screaming. <laughs> Not too bad, you know. It's very well, you know, expressed, you know, a true feeling, you know, to being in the a new, new world, new sure. territory. Sure. Yeah. So, one painting, if you want me to answer that question. That's it. That's okay. a summary of the, uh, it. what it felt to yeah. be in the U.S. Well, uh, uh, it, is, it is unbeatable feeling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> went to France in Monet's Garden, That's, um, that is officially invited by French Academy. Okay. You know? So I do get an invitation to attend the, the annual gatherings, you know, twice a year okay. in Paris. I received this award um, which was recommended by Leo Castelli, mm -hmm. who was appreciating my New York subway paintings. <laughs> she didn't, he didn't know I had this early, you know, uh, Almost like a fluid, you know, this kind of a way of a childhood, you know, uh, sure. uh, uh, um, uh, how to say, uh, 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 shadow in my heart about for impressionism. And um, because he only saw I painted, you know, New York subways, because I never showed any my impressionistic, you know, landscape. I I went to France, Monet's Garden, like a childhood dream came true. All of a sudden, you know. Um, I feel, you know, it's, um, it's the time, you know, God gave it to me, you know, I sit in the garden, you know, nobody around it. I think Monet was here, you know, 60 years ago, sit on the same bench, same, same spot. You know, I feel the same thing. I hear the, the bells ring in the evening, you know, from distance in the very big church. Ah, where I am, you know, how I am being here, you know, and, uh, I deeply have this kind of feeling uh, that anybody, nobody, if a, without uh, knowing I'm from China, you know, they, they, because I was there as an American artist. But actually, you know, I have deep feeling, you know, my experience is they grew up in China. I was thinking, you know, my, my master teachers, you know, who died you know, in the suffering, you know, of, uh, in, in China, after you know, 50 or 60 years of returning um, from France, you know, and I, I, I feel they were so you know miserable and a pity, you know, and a sufferer, you know, and with a lot of the, the opportunity to, to 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 come back to France uh, to refill their their life, their youth, and you know, the time. 
I'm here, you know, I, I know their story. And uh, at the same time, you know, that's why I started just uh, paint Monet's garden as a, as a very stick as I can, you know, and uh, the way I can hear, you know, Monet painted or not, you know. I, I told the other two fellow artists, you know, and, uh, well, what do you feel, you know? I don't feel any suffering, I don't feel anything, I, I feel the joy, you know, I feel the God blessing, you know. You know, I don't care, you know, and uh, if you're here, you have to honestly to express yourself and uh, not to fear something passé, you know, impressions and not the impressions. Oh, I, I don't care, you know, don't think about anything else, you know, you think about yourself, you know, uh, and don't be afraid, you know, when you see something beautiful, say it is beautiful, you know, not to try to find out why it's so beautiful and you know, it should be ugly or something. And, uh, that's not my job. You know. I, I don't know. You know, I just feel myself honestly. I came back home. I I I would prepare. You know, uh, so the subway, uh, the paving, the La Pave, you know, yes. the pavement of Paris. That was a major composition I, I I prepared. But it also can be inspiring by you know there's a two painting exhibit in the exhibition this time. And uh, it's inspiring by Monet's uh, water lily series. You know, it's, it is a surface. But my pavement of a European, I was looking for a spot, something, you know, different with uh, what I feel seen in common, you know, in the, in the U.S. And I, I found the, 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 the pavement the, the, of Paris, the Plaza de la Concorde or Plaza de Bastille. Bastille. Yeah, uh, Bastille. And those are a very historical a foundation, a base, you yes. name it. If you really want to explain the revolutionary spirit, but still, it is, the name is the revolution. And uh, also they dug up the, the cobblestone, you know, for the 1968 students' riots, you know, so the, you can name it. If you really like, a, nowadays conceptual artists, they try to give the name or concept, the ideas, but I, I think it's painting, so I painted the name just a little bit. Painting. So it's all recorded, you know, on the history of the, the city of Paris, you know, Europe, spirit of Europe. I'm a painter, I really shouldn't explain sure. why it is. My painting should say, say for me. Artists are always, all your life, fighting for security, for... Oh, I really grateful, you know, um, this campus, the school, you know, provided that to me. So. On the other hand, you know, I also feel be honored, you know, I'm um, as a as a person, just like um, my painting, very straightforward and honest. I will do my best to contribute for the school, for the campus. Also, I find that young Chinese generation, just like everywhere in the world, they're innocent, they're very nice. They should be capable to do much, much more great things, a great great art painting. Just like all the Picassos and, and uh, Matisse or whatever, you know, Jackson Pollock and uh, De Koning. Chinese youth, they're capable to do the same thing, you know, if you free them, you know, and they're not stupid, you know. Young people, young minds, all same, innocent. I want to tell them, you know, I want to tell them, don't worship for power and money, you know, to live by yourself. Yeah, yourself is the most important to respect yourself also.